Highest Paying Fintech Jobs Hi and welcome back to Fintech. In today's video, we will be talking about highest paying fintech jobs. Finance and technology have historically been the highest paying industries. But 2020 and COVID-19 completely transformed everything, speeding up the massive transformation that had been taking place for several years. It's almost as if banking and technology had a baby, which they named fintech. Take a peek at these. Number 1. Blockchain Technology People frequently conflate blockchain technology with Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. Now, obviously, crypto is based on blockchain technology. But the blockchain is much more than that because you're seeing more and more things migrate to this smart contract ledger technology, which is a much more secure method to capture and keep data. In the financial business, there is a high demand for people who can work on smart contract development and blockchain engineering projects. It isn't only about banks or finance or transporting money from one place to another. This is something that you don't necessarily need a four-year diploma for it. This is an area that's interesting for you. Number 2. Quantitative Analyst and Data Scientist As a result, this is currently at the forefront of the financial services business. These positions are in significant demand for large investment banks and hedge funds, and not just in fintech. If you watch the Showtime Show Billions, you'll notice that this is smack in the middle of the storyline, and you'll see these hedge fund people and data scientists making a lot of money. But let's get back to the point. As a quant analyst and data scientist, this is what I'm talking about. You're effectively developing intricate financial models that can make sense of and sift through the massive volumes of data and digital information that we generate every day. You construct trading systems, create algorithms, and automate financial operations that don't require a lot of human involvement. There's a lot of machine learning, deep learning, AI, and regression analysis statistics. This is a field that is in great demand and pays well in an area that is growing and will continue to grow. Number 3. A demand for good app developers. People who can create good mobile apps and solutions because, when you think about our lives today, we spend about 7 hours online every single day, and the majority of that time is spent on your smart device, which basically powers all of these apps and solutions that power your life and how you organize your life. It's no longer simply banking or sending and receiving money. It's also shopping, entertainment, and other services, such as anything that works through your phone. Number 4. Everything around cybersecurity When you think of fintech companies, everything is done through their apps, their web-based solutions, and cellular networks, and there's a lot of data traveling back and forth. And clearly, this demonstrates and presents a risk for cyber thieves to infiltrate these networks, steal data, and exploit the situation. By the way, it's not just finance firms, nor is it just technology and the financial sector. In hotel networks, we've observed data thefts. Experts that know how to combat and safeguard firms, as well as professionals who understand encryption, are in high demand. That is to be aware of how to conduct an investigation. So, once again, this is a burgeoning field that is becoming increasingly vital as everything moves online and COVID-19 has further exacerbated this trend. And these are well-paying professions. Number 5. A world that's becoming really exciting is the world of risk control managers and compliance officers. So when I used to work in investment banking compliance, it wasn't a glamorous position. Nobody was really enthusiastic about compliance, but these are professions that are becoming increasingly crucial in fintech and the financial industry in general as a result of all the regulations and guidelines enacted following the 2008 financial crisis. So this is a complicated world. And this isn't simply a mundane compliance job. This is a cognitive intelligence that is based on machine learning. This is part of the anti-money laundering effort in the battle against terrorism financing. If you have these skills, you can easily transition into these high-paying professions because every fintech is required to have them. They now have a large demand for risk control managers and compliance officers to comply with these laws and regulations. Which of these careers do you think would be a good fit for you? Please share your thoughts in the box below. This discussion should have been fun for you. Please give it a try if you haven't yet. If you haven't already done so, 
please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more illuminated videos, make sure your post notifications are switched on. Keep an eye out for the next video, and we'll see you then.